cybersecurity, a lot of people that join cybersecurity join because they want to help improve things. I found after talking to a lot of people and see how they got into the industry, they inherently wanted to find a way to improve things out there in, in technology. From a pure job perspective, the pay and, and, and the opportunity is almost is significantly available to anyone. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there, uh, both technical and non-technical, because it's a very niche and focused field, your, your pay can be significantly higher than the same type of role in a, just a regular technical engineering field. If you want to go the technical route, just having a good breadth of, of understanding, of technical understanding. So if you come from a, like a help desk or assist admin role where you understand like a lot of systems, uh, that's a really helpful way to get in. If you're a developer, engineer, or coder, uh, that's also a good way because there's always insecure code out there. The non-technical route, being able to identify risk or, or you know kind of quantify risk or communicate. I think in any role, as you get more senior, uh, learning how to communicate well is very important. So soft skills are really important as well. You might be a security person, really smart, really know the vulnerabilities and whatnot, but if you're not able to communicate to other engineers or engineering managers why this is important to be fixed and why is it important to be done now if you're not able to communicate that in, in a good way uh, written or verbal they're not going to listen to you so here's a list of questions that you can ask a company when you're going to uh, apply for a security position where does security leadership report to why was this position created did someone leave or was this newly freshly created? How large do you expect the security team to be in about a year? What are the you know the first three projects I'm going to be working on in the, in the next six months? I don't know if you'll get answers to this, but you know has there been, has there been any turnover in the organization lately? Do you have a budget for training? Are you going to send me to DEF CON and Black Hat? I think every security person should go to at least one security conference a year. That's the best place where they can learn and grow and you know see what's out there uh, what's the growth trajectory for this position in several years for example uh, what's the security culture of the of the company you know i don't know if you'll get an honest answer but you could read their face you could uh, you know see the body like well, what are some roadblocks you've run into in the past with other teams